So I've been using this uh, muffin pan for my leftover aluminum to cast some ingots and as you can see after some usage it's uh, taken quite the toll uh, because it's so thin. So I decided I was going to make my a new one, a new mold for my ingots. Uh, got some uh, two and a half inch by one inch uh, angle uh, tubing from a brother-in-law and uh, I'm explaining it to my daughter right now what I'm doing here. Had to uh, measure, um, I think I used eight pieces that were four inches long um, and then took them over to the bandsaw, cut them all up and uh, here's the bandsaw. Got my, uh, oh yeah, what I had to do is uh, change the vise to about a two and a half degree angle. In retrospect, I probably should have made it a little more, more like five degrees. Um, I just have to bang them out a little bit harder uh, than if I had gone with a bigger angle. So this is sped up quite a bit. Um, I had to make 16 cuts at that angle and had my uh, four-year-old daughter help me turn on the bandsaw. Uh, it was actually quite fun. So I'll. Uh, I'll come back when I'm done with the with this part. Here I did a quick deburr on my little belt sander, uh, just so we don't have any of the sharp edges. Turn out pretty good. And then I got ready to cut the tops off because I obviously want to be able to pour the, the aluminum into the mold. Uh, used the, uh, the angle grinder in the vise. The only thing that uh, wasn't working out as well is at the bottom. Um, because I had jammed it in pretty hard, it started uh, locking up the blade a little bit. I just had to go over it a couple of times, so that wasn't too bad to do, actually. After I cut the top off, um, I had to do a little bit more grinding uh, because it was it just left a little bit of a lip there. You can see on one end it was probably about a millimeter or so. The other side wasn't too bad, but I decided to do all of them anyways, just to, so none of the uh, none of the ingots would get stuck. First, I tried to do it this way in the vise, and it just wasn't working properly. So, ended up uh, flipping it around, and that worked out pretty good. Towards the end, unfortunately, there's something wrong with my camera, and I'm thinking it's probably the video card itself um, that got damaged. So I didn't have any video for that, but as you can see, I ended up welding the, the ends on, uh, on those little open molds and uh, put them all together, lined them, and welded a piece of angle iron in the middle to connect them and one on each side to hold them together quite well. And as you can see, it turned out pretty good. It's uh, nine inches by about 11 inches, eight pieces, each one of them about an inch and a half thick. And here you can see I'm, uh, I'm pouring my first lead ingots actually. And it turned out pretty good actually. The, the uh, ingots are nice and square and I'm pretty happy about it.